Hey everyone, uh, I'm Janik and I'm joined by Green Beans 9 today and we're gonna play LEGO Racers uh, and Green will be here for the commentary. Hello. And I'm just now driving in the test race for the introduction. Uh, before I start the run, whenever I get hit by a hazard, which means like a cannonball like that, I will donate five dollars for every hit. So you guys can uh, help me counting in the chat and Green will probably point it out to you. So let's yeah, just get into the run. Forget. Yeah, you're gonna forget for sure. Okay, let's just start. Um, we're playing any percent glitchless, which means that we need to complete the whole game. And the timer will start once this um, countdown is gone. So, on go. Two, one. Right now. We got a good start. That's nice. Uh, so, yeah, this is LEGO Racers any percent glitchless, which means that we aren't uh, allowed to do any uh, checkpoint glitches. Which means that you just drive back and forth over the finish line and that will count as... A whole race. Um, any? Yeah. So right Sorry. away, <laughs> the fastest way to win this game is just warp as many times as possible. And the way you build up a warp is you collect three white bricks and one green brick. And as soon as you have that, you're good to warp. Um, there's only bricks have a set location in this game, so you'll notice right here that that one will always be blue, and that one will always be yellow unless they get contaminated. I'll talk about that a little later. But as long as J or a bot doesn't do anything to mess it up, the greens will always be there. So you want to make sure you're not warping over a green when it warps. So he comes out of this warp and he gets that green right there. Very nice. That's So he'll have like a set spot he's warping in every time. I'll and play the sure He's getting the most warps. Yeah, probably. Okay, let's hope I don't get hit here. The will be uh, spicy. Who's behind The him? other thing you would have noticed him doing on lap one is picking up the extra white brick. Uh, to the left of this red, and it basically it just it's just a way to get another white brick before you enter the warp. Yeah. So whenever you warp, if you can, always grab a brick with you because you can use it later. Uh, for the color bricks, they will respawn after like three and a half seconds. The white bricks Something are a like bit that. more difficult. Do you want to explain that, Green, for me? Yeah. So the white bricks do not respawn after five seconds. They stay in. Whoever picks them up, they stay in that inventory indefinitely until they either get used and then they respawn immediately. Or if, uh, sorry, this is. Oh, I made a well nice. That's I a very it. hard trick. Yeah. Or fairly hard. That's one of, this is actually one of the most difficult races right off the bat. But if you get hit by a cannonball or any red power up, the white brick you're carrying will fall out of your inventory and stay spawned wherever you got hit on the track for about seven to eight seconds until then it will despawn from there and return to its original position. So this sequence right here is what we call the DFD trick. You fly into the white brick, but the white brick is really finicky to pick up. Sometimes you drive over it and it doesn't even pick up. Um, the reason so why right we're not warping coming... there, sorry, go ahead, Green. Yeah, sorry. Coming out of that warp right there, he's uh, actually letting go of forward. So he's the reason he's doing that is when you're every warp spits you out a little bit above the ground, but in cases where it spits you out a lot above the ground, you actually keep more of your speed by not holding forward because holding accelerate will decelerate you to 100% speed. But he's already going faster than that, so until he hits the ground, he's actually not holding anything there. This DFD was amazing. It could have honestly gold split it in my really, run. That was really, good, actually. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, also, the the hosting champions, as they are called, in this case, Captain Redbeards, uh, they always cheat. If you finish first and they're like third or fourth, they will still finish in second. Yeah, it's a little bit of a weird thing. Oh, this MMM. So Explain about the code. <laughs> oh, yeah, code. Uh, so... In this race, there are three colored. This is actually my favorite race, I think, if I had Mine to pick too. one. Mine too. Um, but there's three colored gates, and you won't get to see all of them this lap because he warps past one of them. But that panel right there, um, that will tell him which order or which side of the gate he needs to go into in what order, so from left to right. Yeah, it was red, red, blue, so I'm going to have to remember that. Uh, you'll see it. So that's, there are two that's gates. That's why on this lap. You actually want to fly through it on this lap, so you can boost through it. Okay, this, got, is, this, is, this is bad, this is bad. 
Yeah, uh, so, oh my god, this is super bad. <laughs> Uh, there were two greens on the field that were supposed to be green, but they were replaced by bots into red bricks, which is really unlucky. This just rarely happens. That's unbelievably bad, actually. Yeah. Well, we'll keep it going. We have the DFD to compensate for it. Yeah, so you might have noticed that that glass door opened up on lap two because he drove through the order of the gates correctly. If he'd had his green bricks, he would have gone through that passageway, and there's three white bricks in there, and it's much, much faster to do that, but... That was so, very yeah. unlucky. That was pretty unlucky, man. So you might have noticed by now that uh, the other bots are no competition at all. Not even close. That's They're on set paths and they don't they're not very really fast. any competition. Uh, you'll lap most of them in every race. The biggest problem? Yeah. The biggest problem is actually lapping them on your lap 3 because then they can shoot you with red bricks and such and it's difficult that way, but you're never ever going to lose a race to them until maybe the last race. Oh, also, you might have seen me drive into the hosting champion at the start of the race. It's just so he gets slowed down and he won't be much trouble. Let's see if I hit it. I hit it. Nice. So this is what's called the DAD right. bounce. Uh, Green, do you want to explain it? <laughs> the DAD bounce? Yeah, so... I don't know exactly why it does what it does, but it has to do with uh, the momentum I was talking about coming out of warps when you're in the air. So what he's doing is, it's a pretty specific warp spot, actually. And he's got his own setup that's different from mine, but when he comes out of this warp, he's not holding forwards or backwards. He's holding nothing. Maybe a little bit of directional if he needs it. Let's see if I can hit the grapple. No, I don't do far. Maybe, so just a little bit of directional if he needs it, but because he's not decelerating by holding accelerate, because he's already over the top speed, as soon as he hits the ground, for whatever reason, he has enough speed to just keep going, and it actually gives him two bounces with this car. It works out quite nicely. Yes, hence the but name, the DAD bounce. The DAD stands for the, for the name of the race. It's called the Desert Adventure Dragway, and we uh, abbreviate every name. Also, the method that I use for the bounce is called the Miro method, because he taught me it like a week ago. It's very consistent. Miro Sterling in chat, probably. Can I uh, read two quick donations? Yeah, go for yep. it. We have $15 from Liquid Moon, saying good luck with the run, Jay. And we have a $50 donation from BDIP, saying this is going towards the $200 total to bring back the stripe. Hashtag save the stripe. So with that said, if we raise $150 more, I'll put a two-pixel gap between the game and the left side of the, the screen. Oh, no. This is from the Star Wars run, right? I think I've seen this earlier. <laughs> I think so. Oh, man. Okay, so this is TIG. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys a lot. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so this is called TIT, Tribal uh, Island Trail. And this race is very difficult. I think it's, for me personally, one of the more difficult races. You'll see why coming up. It has a really weird flight sequence. That is a faster way to do it, but it, it only saves like two seconds over the normal way. Uh, but I'll still go for it. That's one. Nice, I got well it. Well done. Uh, yeah, I would say this is like probably the second hardest after uh, DFD, the ghost race yes. that we did the flying on earlier. But uh, yeah, they're both a little bit precise. There's an even faster flying strat that's even harder. Yeah, I, I won't dabble um, I in that. that. Yeah, no. I guess I haven't talked that much about the flying yet. It's unbelievably or maybe believably janky yeah. um, for a game made in 1999. Basically, if you you want to be on level ground when you're activating the flying boost in a perfect world, or your car will just remain more or less permanently tilted while it's in the air, and that makes steering it very difficult. So precisely picking up two white bricks and a green brick becomes infinitely harder. Steering is trouble. Landing is trouble. Sometimes when your car is tilted and you land, your car will just like swivel sideways it's really annoying uh you might yeah. see it somewhere in the run you don't want to be making turns while you're on uneven ground either or your car will you'll lose control yes okay this is uh, rkr royal knights raceway and i already missed the white brick this is not good um it's my favorite race to run it's really really fun Let me yeah, something race. i haven't mentioned yet oh nice go for it not easy to do, no. actually. 
It's landing, landing out of the flying ones is actually kind of a pain. Is it can be weird if you don't time it right, you won't keep your momentum very well. But he hit it, he did it very well both times actually. Thank you. So something I haven't mentioned yet that I should have mentioned at the start is, so every warp puts you out a little bit above the ground, but for the ones that are only a little bit above the ground, as well as any like regular green boosts. So greens with no white brick or greens with one right white brick. Uh, you keep more momentum when you're on the ground, holding forwards and reverse at the same time. So what that means is you can keep speed like he almost it looked like he almost got the second one too, and he's missing another white. That's very unlucky. Yeah, this is not good, but we're still making a good like lemonade out of the lemons right here. But you can, keep, uh, you can keep more speed after the boost duration has ended if you're holding forwards and reverse for whatever reason. Yeah, we I found that out. Uh, I think Flakes is the one that really, really pushed on that. Um, and it actually saves, like, probably on average 30 seconds over the whole run <laughs> with the new stress and they, actually, they actually, like, programmed into the game. If you're holding forwards and backwards, you have like a super slide. I think it's even in like the manual for this ancient game. But yes, it is. Super slides. We call them snap slides as well. You get like, you'll see his car like really snap in one direction almost. That's usually holding. You'll see it backwards. here. You'll see it here. Like right yeah. there. That's really That's short turn. It's, it's hard to pick out the extra speed he's saving by holding forwards backwards after all these boosts if you haven't seen it without holding them down, but. It, it does save time everywhere. Yeah, we make this game look easy. It's a really difficult game, actually. But it's really easy to get into. And once you start learning how to control the car, it's like the most fun game ever. I started running this game ironically, and now I'm playing it unironically, like, almost every day. Uh, okay, let's do a, a George check. So we oh, zoom yeah. out the camera here to look at the white bricks a little bit earlier, and we call it a George check. Named after George M. Hall. Uh, he kind of reminded us that you could zoom out the camera because we were always playing in default mode. Uh, but now I'm playing in zoomed out mode again. It's kind of a sentiment that we use. Yeah, I think I'm the only top runner now that still plays yes. zoomed in. Yes, you are. You need to play zoomed out soon. That's probably better. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, okay. Quick donations. Yeah, go for it, go for it. We have five dollars from Flakes, which says, "Very hyped to see Lego racers on Legothon. Good luck on the George checks, J Nick." <laughs> nice. And we have fifty dollars from Los, saying, "Bring back the stripe. Hashtag save the sprite." So for a hundred more dollars, we will put a two-pixel gap between the game and the side of the screen. Thank you, Los. So yeah. I did not get hit yet, thanks, right? Guys. That's awesome. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, no. Uh, you've been hit once. He said. Once? Okay. I'm, I'm hoping Chad's keeping track. Yeah, me too. Because... So my my uh, donation will go towards the the Black Stripe, then. Let's if go. it's not even met after this, we'll see. Uh, this is going very well, by the way. Uh, I just bumped into the wall there, but it's going to be fine. Uh, let's yes, hope that is Achoo is isn't uh, annoying. Okay, he's right there, so I should be fine. Achoo is one of the NPCs. Very good. This very good. Yeah, it's looking awesome. Yeah, so nice. this is actually, this was relatively uneventful, actually, but this is one of two races, or I guess four, because you actually play all the tracks again mirrored. But this race, if it goes wrong, you just lose 10 seconds at least, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it's all RNG, and too. It... Um, this this race mostly decides if you, if you want to do the run or not. Um... Like, if you were kind of doubting on resetting, this is the kind of the reset point. But this is going pretty well, actually, I'd say, so far. Yeah, yeah, you can be missing all of your white bricks on lap two. Just because the other bots are holding onto them and not using them. You can be missing both of your greens on lap two. You can be missing both of your greens on lap three. You can be missing all of your white bricks on lap three. It's You can get bombs mess. before warping in the hallway. It's just, it's a mess. Okay, here we go, Basil, the Bat Lord. Uh, I've been improving yeah, on yeah. this map a lot, so I hope that I can show it off. 
The only race in the game with no shortcut. Yes. Not what like a banging sounds anyway. track there. A very popular track in the community. Everyone loves yeah. it. Let's see if I can get a 27 lap here. This is looking good. It's looking really good. Nice. Nice. So right there you'll notice he picked up the blue brick and dropped it into where that red brick was. And I'll see if I can explain this yeah. without making it confusing. But basically, uh, the bot is the AI, the red one on the map actually. Basil is going to pick that brick up, and he has white bricks, or sorry, not white bricks. Uh, he has, he's going to drive into that red slot and pick up the brick, and then he's going to drive into that green and pick up that brick, and the way AI works is they won't use red bricks if they have nobody in front of them to target, so we are so far ahead that he can't ever target us here, and generally, the red dot is, it's the AI, it's, it's the boss for the circuit, basically. He's your main rival, and so he will almost always be in first. So nine times out of ten, he's not going to have anybody to target. So he'll just hold on to the red, and then he'll drop the red where your on green, the green is supposed to yeah. be. Yeah, and he won't have a green. It's a very but difficult thing to explain. Basically, we just replaced the brick, so it's more favorable for us the next lap. And we call it the manip trick, the manipulation trick. Um, well, all you're doing by leaving the blue there, because he can use the blue anytime. Yes. So by dropping the blue there, he will... Because they're on set paths, so he will always go through that first brick and then go through your green brick. So by dropping the blue there, he'll go through the brick, use the blue before he gets to the green, and then use the green. And because he doesn't drop a red on the green, it will respawn his green again. Yeah, we use it a little bit over the run, not too much though. Okay, this is called the DFD trick, or the, sorry, PSP trick, and I grabbed it, so that's good. I had a really bad setup, so I'm happy that I got it. Uh, basically, we warp in a very specific spot to land onto the green brick, uh, which is nice. I'll grab an extra white just to be sure. Oh, nice. Got the double. Oh, that's crazy. And now the triple. That's Doesn't good. Doesn't actually matter because you can't hold more than three white bricks. Then no, I know, but in case you miss like two, it's just yeah. safety. I think I got it. Yeah, nice. So we probably won't do it in the last lap because it's very risky in the last lap because we're driving past bots. Uh, so I'm going to do what's called a green backup and not because we pick up a green brick. It's actually named after Green himself, the man in call. Uh, so let's see. This one is missing, so we need to do it now. Sam is probably driving over that brick there. Yeah, so... Oh, never mind. It's red. Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah, it's really unlucky. Uh, and we'll probably have to wait on the green brick here now. There we go. That should be fine. Nice. Now let's hope I can still... Oh, I should have picked up the red. That's my bad. Okay, he didn't pick it up. Ooh, that was really close. Okay, don't drive into the oil. That will be bad. And that's the end of the race. That's not bad. 36 second laps. It's a lot slower than the first two, but it's kind of expected on this race. So it's really not terrible. Lap 1 was actually pretty good. 27-16 is not bad at all. Okay, ATT. The most difficult map. Also the longest map. Ooh, bump list. If we don't hit the uh, walls on the like shortcut there, we call it a bump list. Yeah, so this track is the longest, which means the AI has the most chances to screw you over by taking your white bricks. So this race along with that previous Amazon Adventure Alley I mentioned is where you just kill runs sometimes. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, this is going good so far. I'm gonna focus on this one for a second uh, because this warp is also pretty specific. There we go. Oh, this is looking really good actually. Nice. Nice. Okay, really good. Wow, well done. That's very... It's not easy. Oh, and I dodged it. Good. If you grab that uh, red, you obviously contaminate your green after this. You'll say, why not just shoot it? But then you're missing out on a white brick and you can't warp. I'm missing out on one anyway now, so I'll uh, grab... Oh, 
No way. Oh wow. oh wow, that's really lucky. Oh okay, wait, if I can fly? Wow, this is the most amazing ATT I've got in a while. Oh wow, okay. Oh we're in this. Wow that was wait, what? We're in this. What just happened? Uh I think I don't know. He got hit. Left to white. Everything was just there. Everyone is really slow this lap too. Did you just? Is this a 27 second lap? Ooh, what? That's like, uh, that's unironically close to world record. I think it might be close, I'll yeah. I actually have to check it. Okay. I don't think it, that's very close. Uh, the Sorry, last I time I got a 27 second lap might be like a few months ago. I didn't even ago. comment, to, I, was, I was like in shock he got that last green. <laughs> Getting the last green out of the first warp on lap three is very, very rare. Yes, so. okay, so this ARA, you see that UFO there. We can manipulate the UFO later on and do what so-called UFO trick. Uh, but we'll get to it once I do it, because it's not worth explaining if you can't see it. So, uh, we're gonna warp here and I'm gonna do a somewhat newer strat, which is warping into this green. And then hope I can grab the blue, there we go. Use another green. Land, use another green. This race is actually really fun. To run because you get so many greens. Yeah, this is a really fun one actually. It's going well so Optimizing far. Optimizing it is kind of a pain though. Yeah, yeah, I'm warping early now because I get more chance to grab a uh, blue. I was almost gonna be greedy and grab the green, but it's not worth it. I would have. Yeah, I know you. <laughs> but would you're have. right. But you're right. It's not worth it. <laughs> Very clean. This is super nice, actually. 2277 is not a bad lap either. This might... Wait, what's the time on this? No, it's it's probably not a gold for me, but... I don't have a timer running on the side. Uh, I just want to focus on the run. But it would be interesting to see the time right now. Oh, I don't know if I actually said this or not, because there was so much to explain in the first race. But the reason the car looks like a shoebox is because the more bricks you have... The heavier your car is and the more weight you have, the faster your top speed is. Yes, correct. Uh, I can't believe that we didn't it. say that earlier. Like, it, it's, I think I did forget, actually. On my stream, I have to frequently ask questions. And like the top question is just, why does the car look like a shoebox? But people make some weird stuff out of it, like shoebox. We've also heard like coffin, uh, just a brick. We've heard all sorts of things. Yeah, so yellow brick is 99% useless for the runs. Uh... We sometimes use... Uh, you get a little hop if you uh, put oil down on the ground. We sometimes use that hop to kind of hop over the off-road sometimes. Uh, but not a lot. Like, it's very situational. It mostly just messes you over. So you also see him shooting the wall with a cannonball and opening up a shortcut. I didn't mention that the first time either. This race and the previous one actually both have that mechanic. Where you, and it's fastest to use that path, but you obviously need to make arrangements to have a red brick and open it up on lap one. So it changes the route a little bit for the other two laps. Nice, got it again. Uh, Ooh, yeah, I hope so you can warp. Yeah, we can warp. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. I didn't get to warp yeah, the tier... second lap, though. Tier 2 red, I guess, or 1 red, 1 right. White is a grappling hook. Uh, 2 whites is lightning wand, and 3 is, like, 3 missiles that can be infuriatingly terrible. Yes. Both so every missile hit will shoot you in the air and make you do a 360? If you're not careful, you might actually be 180 and you need to drive backwards for the rest of the race. Uh, also, if I get hit by missiles, for every missile hit, it's $5. So, it's going to be interesting because some races you do no see missiles pretty regularly on. Okay, let's hope for red, red, red. It's the best go that we can get. Red, blue, blue. This is actually a terrible code. We were just talking about this in call earlier. I still think this is better than blue, blue, red. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Now 
There we go. Ooh, I almost grabbed the extra. Yeah, you're right. It's not that bad, but... It's not preferable. Oh. There we go. Beep. Ooh, am I gonna get a really good time? Let's see. I need to perform this wise behind the gate. There we go. Got it. Oh, there we go. Wow. That's very hard to do quickly, actually. This is a great time. The momentum coming out of those warps is very weird. You can yeah. lose traction easily on uneven terrain. Yeah, so what we mean by lose traction... Um, if you have a certain amount of speed, you can slide really well. If you're on normal top speed, your slide won't be as sharp. And it's just annoying. But in that case, we hit it, so it's good. Uh, so here's another DFD trick coming up. And I hope I can hit it. It's always kind of a gamble. There we go. Hold on. This is probably still the hardest track in the game for me. Yeah, it's here. pretty difficult. You have less trouble with the IT, though. There we go. Number two. Yeah, so I guess to talk more about the power-ups, we don't use much. Like, there is actually one instance. A blue on MMM, the race we just did, a blue will actually open up a shortcut. But since there's two shortcuts on that track we actually we use the gate one because it's faster so you didn't get to see it in either time actually but and the different uh, level blue power-ups are just longer shield durations but the top two will both reflect projectiles so if somebody shoots a cannonball at you it'll actually be bounced back towards them kind of neat but not much use in the speed run and then yellow is oil slick and somebody i saw i think i saw flakes in chat say that you can use it for a little bit of a pop, which is true. It's... I'll use it on uh, the desert or uh, tribal island trail a little bit. Yes. I always try to. But... We won't see that it's track not in like, race, uh, five races, actually. Yeah. It's not super critical. And then uh, one white brick and one yellow is a barrel of dynamite. It just gets shot. It does absolutely nothing for the speedrun. You just have to look out to not get hit by it if you're lapping the bots. Uh, I now remember, Green, kind of we, didn't, we didn't explain about the progression of the game. The first three cups are all, like, uh, unique levels. And then cup four, five, and six are the same levels but mirrored. So we're right now on IGP again, which is the track that we started on. But this time it's yeah, mirrored. Background. Sometimes I wish we had more races, but... Yeah, same. Like, mirrors kind of fun, too, sometimes. Uh, we'll end the race Until on Rocket Racer, which is the last race. It's Cup 7, and it's just one race. Um, but yeah. 25 races in total. We're on race number... Uh, let me do some quick maths. 16 right now. Yeah, it's just a mirror cup. Made a bit of a mistake in lap 1, but I think it will be fine. Actually, something worth noting is uh, Redbeard, so the main rival for Cup 1. It has, they have a preference for Red Bricks. Redbeard and Johnny both do. The Johnny Thunder's the captain for Cup 4. So even though the other four racers are the same, but your main rival changes every time, or every four races with the new Cup. So even though these are the same four races, it's a different rival. And the difference between this rival and Redbeard is Johnny will never shoot a single red brick at you. So he's actually much easier to play against. Yes. But for that same reason, he can hold your white bricks and hide them. So I know there's going to be confusion in the chat now. I did not get hit there. Like, I get, I got hit, but it was after I hit the finish line. So it doesn't count. Uh, it, whenever I'm in control, it counts. Because you'll get hit and... after the finish line like pretty often. And it's not in your control. I forgot to say that. It's my bad. Oh, and the last two yellow power-ups are... So, two white bricks, one yellow would be a magnet trap. Hopefully worst we don't one. get to see yeah, that. Yeah, the worst because one. Because that can actually screw you over if you warp through it. And then I'll point out... I should have pointed it out on the first ATT, but when we get to ATT, I'll point out what the, the tier curse? three... Or the, yeah, the curse. Yeah. Three white bricks, one yellow. I'll point out what that is. 
Okay, and uh, so another this is AA. Where you, yeah, cross your fingers again because now your run can die again. This green running. coming up could be blue, if and it's out of my control. Easy. Okay, we're good. There we go. And the same is also true for this cup's rival. It's not the same as it's not Kahuka, even though it's the same four races. It's now it's Baron von Baron, and he also has a tendency to not use power ups without at least one white brick. I have a bad feeling about he, this. Yeah, he'll also sometimes hold white bricks. And okay, that's a hit, and that was a really rough one. I really needed that brick. Okay, Honestly, we dodged that one at least. It's not that bad, but as long as he doesn't pick up was, this red here. That was best case scenario, honestly. You think so? Yeah. Flying would but have flying been is, nice. Flying is awful. Yeah, and over the water? Shot. Okay, it didn't cost that much time. Yeah, he'll prefer... He prefers two white bricks. Yeah, uh, so like tier 3 blue shield to over tier 2, so sometimes he'll just sit on your white bricks and not use them, and it's very frustrating. So as you get later into the game, you'll be missing more and more white bricks. <laughs> on average. Good start. Normally you get bombed at the start, if you're unlucky. Uh, so something, I, I can't see the timer right now. Something I do on my stream is um, I blind my timer and then I just do a run so I don't get demotivated. Uh, can I guess the end time at the end of the run and see if I get anything close to that? Question yeah. for Justin. Go for it. Nice. I'll have to really think about it though, but uh, I won't take long. All right. Uh, IPP. We're doing. We're naturally George checking because we're zoomed out. But I'll do a George check again just for sentiment. It's going well. A bit of a bump. So, George check. There we go. It's so funny to just zoom in just to zoom back just out. Just to zoom back out, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of just a meme. For the memes. Yeah. Well, it is a meme. I actually use it because I play zoomed in. Oh, wow. Oh, I got that. robbed there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Well, it's for a good cause, isn't it? Now we have yeah, actually, KR. all things considered, that's really not very many hits. It could go so much worse than this. It, I think we did a test run yesterday. I got hit like 13 times. If not more. I've been hit four times in one race. Yes. On one lap. Alright, looking good. 2309. 23.55. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I used my uh, green a bit earlier. It's fine, though. I cheated in my guess. I waited to watch you spin out. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a bit of a short warp. Yes, so well. I'm so, not going to be able to explain why short warps happen, but... Yeah, we have this thing called short warps. It's basically we end up before where we thought we'd end up. This is unlucky, but... It's That's fine. unbelievable, actually. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you just end up a little bit before where you think you end up. And sometimes you only warp like a meter or two. Uh, but we'll see if we can dodge most. Ooh. Stomp and a tutor. I need that. Okay, nice. Otherwise, he's going to pick it up and be trouble. Yeah, most likely. Uh, it's pretty unlucky. Yeah, yeah. So if a brick spawns on top of you, you actually don't pick it up. You have to, like, drive into it while it's fully spawned. But even though it looks like he went right through. Yeah, and sometimes when you're on top of it and it spawns, it doesn't even pick it up. It's just, it's really weird. This game is janky, but we love it for it. So the reason I right. drive in the river there is because I want the white brick in my inventory because otherwise a bot might pick it up and might not drop it and I'll uh, need it for the second lap. So it's kind of a safety measure that I do. 
So that's actually one of the places that you can use the oil hop, but it didn't really work out there. No. It, it wasn't detrimental, but it didn't do anything for him either. No. It's kind of hard to get to work. Yeah, it's kind of a dice roll, almost. We don't really know what causes it. There's a lot of research to be done in this game. And some things just don't make sense. Okay, let's hope we don't have to go swimming next lap. Which is when we're missing white bricks and we need to drive into the little lake in the cave there. This is going pretty well. It's going very well, actually. Spawn? No. Okay, we need to go swim in there. I'll pick up the red yeah. just in case. Yeah, so you'll see him pick up that red there. I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but the only reason he does that... So first of all, it's lap three. So even though we just put the red where that green is, he doesn't need to go back to it, so it doesn't matter. And it's safer to pick up that red while all of the bots are behind him, so the bots don't pick it up and then shoot him with it. Because then not only is he losing time, but he's losing a white brick, and then he's not even warping anymore. Exactly. <laughs> We on, we're on cup six already. Yeah, this wow. is going fast. Once you deliver commentary in a run, runs go fast. Uh, so next up is Gypsy Moth uh, from the Insectoid set. And it's kind of a blue lady from space. And her track is ARA, which is Alien Rally Asteroid. Here we go. So I need to shoot yeah. immediately because I'll get shot otherwise most of the times. There we go, shield immediately. I'm yeah, fine this time. The, uh... So actually, I guess I didn't point this out either the first time we played this track, but that zapper you see like circling right there, that's why we pick up the blue for yeah. that, and then the red is to open the shortcut. But that zapper is similar to the, I guess, tier three. Or maybe it's tier two. I don't actually However know you want to call it. Manual. It's like one red yeah. brick and then... No, two. Uh, yeah, one red, two whites. Yeah, that's it. That's It's similar to that power-up. That's what you get when you have that. Oh, and it's the most annoying one for this instance because it can hit you like multiple times. Sometimes a yeah. bot might drive behind you with a zapper and it will hit you like three times in a row. Now, one other thing worth noting is the bots can't take any of the shortcuts. So uh, yeah, they're no program to do it. Yeah, they're all on rails, which means uh, they have uh, one of three. I think they all have three set paths they can be on. And, but once they're on that path on the race, they're on that path. So they're never going to change that. So they, they can't come in here, actually. So any bricks in shortcuts are actually completely safe from being tampered with. Oh, that's funny. That was strange. I used the yellow and it kind of went through my own car into his. That was not a hit. <laughs> what? He did troll himself. I trolled myself, yeah. Somehow the yellow he dropped caught the back of the hitbox of the other guy. Let's hope for a goof one again. It's it's really RNG though, this one. I'd say this game is a, like the perfect balance between RNG and skill. I don't know how it's uh, how you're thinking about that, Green, but uh, R and it feels so much. I don't know. It depends how fast you want to go. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's quite heavy on the RNG though, but uh, I like it because every, it is, every run a, is different. It's a very RNG heavy game overall, I would say. But I think up to a certain point, you can mitigate a lot of the damage by making good decisions and, you know, being good at the game. Yes. Oh, that should be great. Right. Oh, yeah, that so should be green. Another. Yeah, okay, there's one more green coming up. It's around this corner. It's blue. Uh, there's that's one more green unlucky. coming up. It's around this corner. Okay, that's green. Nice. Not bad. Yeah, this is not terrible. So we I, might need I to go sun room now, though. Yeah. I said this in the previous time we were at this race, but this is the most RNG heavy race. You yes. can lose the most time here. Like, for example, like my gold. If I'm losing like nine seconds to my gold on an average run, I'm happy. Yeah, it's a good run. <laughs> it's it's that bad. <laughs> Ooh, I missed it. Please don't hit me. Okay. 
Oh, I missed. Okay. Okay. Uh, this needs to be oh. green now. Okay. It's not worth waiting it's for not that. The end of the world. No, I've dodged well, the left two, so I can grab the green. Yeah. This green coming up never get hit by any of the bots. So if I didn't replace it, I know that it's green next lap. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah, this is a good warp. There's a couple bricks that the bots never go. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. That's it's not bad at all. Good. It's also it not good. Worse. Like imagine that. Like my my best lap for the previous one was 27 seconds, uh, and now it's 34 seconds, and that's for the best lap only. It's like. Oh, so the curse he was driving by on the first lap in the tunnel, like right before the finish line. That's what the tier three yellow looks like. I'm gonna pick up this red. So I'm gonna replace it with it's... my own green, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be green next lap because people will drive through it. Uh, this should be fine. Yeah. Nice. Got it. Nice. Yeah, that green is guaranteed to be picked up by at least one of the bots on lap one. So, and they won't be holding anything when they go into it. So they always just take the red, and then it'll respawn as green for our next lap. Let's see. I'd say that this is the least popular map in the community. It's also difficult to get used to. And the team is just kind of boring, mostly. The other maps are more interesting to me. I like this one. I think it might be the hardest. Might for be the beginners. Hardest without, for beginners, yes. Without flying. Also, that, yeah. Okay, so the we're missing flying. out on one break. We. Oh, okay. We're at hitbox there. Oh, that's lucky. That corner is actually kind of unforgiving. It's very easy to like lose speed and accidentally turn sharper than you mean to. So I'm, I'm performing the green back up here, by the way. Um, I need to, I need a green here. Oh, that's lucky. I didn't need it. Okay, and now I need a white here. Oh, that's picked up. Last second adjustment. Oh, extra white. Are we good? What is happening? I don't know. This is a mess. That actually could, that actually could have been way worse. That could have gone like south. We did it. But even uh, though you got the extra warp, it's actually the same time as the last PSP of the third lap. Yeah, because I needed to break so much. But I was already committed. If I gave up, then I would have lost more. Okay, so uh, one uh, more um, KAT. And then this is this track, by the way. And then we do Rocket Racer. Then it's the end of the run. So we're nearing. I'll tell uh, you, Justin, difference. when the time's coming up, by the way. Yeah. Uh, the main difference between the two versions, uh, like 99 and 2001, is the physics in 2001, they changed them so that the bricks don't weigh on the car. So you don't actually, you can't really change your weight. So for that reason, it makes 2001 slower. But it's, it's a little tricky to tell. It's, 2001's a lot better with the new, like, uh, work mechanics that we were talking about yeah it's it's Not kind of a it, it's almost like track dependent on what version of the game is faster and it's really my new differences too okay yeah. let's and then the other lap. thing is yeah the lap skips don't work on 99 so any percent is always played on 2001 and generally any percent glitchless is played on 99 but you can play it on 2001 and it's generally slower to play it on 2001 though Okay, um, yes, that's good. Now I just need to double here. Nice. Oh, never mind, got picked up. Okay, so we're gonna do something called Dragon Warp. We named this Dragon Warp because you literally warp with the dragon, that's it. Thank you for listening. Flakes is also super hyped about it always, even though it's a bit slower, but the dragon is kind of cool though, I gotta admit. So yeah, uh, Rocket Racer coming up after one more commercial cutscene. Yes, yeah, so time is going to be when he crosses the finish line on the next race, like at lap 3. Yes, so whenever we hit the finish line on lap 3, that's time. Uh, and Rocket Racer could go, like, anyway. Um, oh yeah. It's the most RNG heavy track in my opinion. Yeah, that's probably fair, even though I said it was ATT. This, this one's a little different though, in that you can just be screwed like straight off the finish line or the start line sorry and yes. you'll you might get to see what i mean we'll see okay so if rocket racer boosts and he picks up the red on the left it's like 
done. So we'll see. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is really good, actually. That's good. Getting ahead of all of them by this point is exactly what you want. Okay, I'll go for the triple warp, just because I can. A really difficult strat here called the triple warp. Nice, okay. Five in the wall. No, I didn't grab the green. Okay, now I'm losing time. It's not the end of the world. No, this is actually still pretty good. It's probably going to be like a 31, 32 second lap. The reason the start line is so bad on this race is you might have noticed everybody's more squished together because they made the track kind of small. For whatever reason, they decided to do that. So if you boost into the guy in front of you, you will give him extra speed and he's just going to steal your brick every time. Yes. And that happens to be the main rival. So I heard the curse here earlier. It's right there. It's dying out. And now I can warp. If I warped earlier, I would have warped into that curse. Uh, missing out on one brick. Missing out on two bricks. Which means that I will boost here and pick this one up. Then one more here. One more around this corner. And then I'll go either right or left depending on what this guy does. So I'll go left. And there's no brick here. So I'll just warp. And hope that this is green. That is three. Okay. One, two, three. That's three hits. With a oh. terrible landing. That was kind of hard to see, but it was missiles. Yes. Highest tier. There's a magnet trap. A magnet trap as well. Yep. Don't get to see that. Oh, this was not it, a it good just, RR. It holds you in place. Time is here. Time, sorry. Oh my god. Okay. What a mess. Um, it actually wasn't that bad of an RR, to be honest. No, not that bad. Um, okay, so I think the time... Uh, I might still be 45, honestly. No, uh, okay, it's going to be 46.03. That's my guess. Uh, your time was a 45.45. Wow, really? That's three yeah, seconds that That's guess. three seconds off PB for me. That was my guess. 45 nice. something. Well, uh, well done. this is like a racer. Yeah, this is the game, man, everyone. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, good luck to all the other runners. And shout out to the community. We're amazing. Yeah, so. thank you so much, guys, for all the donations going towards the next incentive yes uh and, and I'll, I'll check back in chat for the amounts of hits that i got in and uh good luck on the rest of the runs everyone